Hello everyone, this is a video on how to utilize the discus feature for uh, the district and this is very helpful to use anytime that you use a, or sorry, you're writing a, a research paper. So all you need to do, of course, is start by going to the BHP website. When you look up here at the top, you'll see a directory tab. You look down at the bottom, it will say library. You click on that. Then you'll have a host of options and there's some really cool things that you can do on here. But for our purposes, the thing I want to focus on is this orange and green panel here that says Discus Virtual Library. So you click on that. And so now we have a lot of information here and you can kind of get overwhelmed by it, honestly, but it's a really great feature if you're signed into our network. And the uh, what it allows you to do is view some very um, credible sources from academic journals and periodicals uh, that can be really helpful when you're trying to write a research paper. So let's go ahead. Uh, the uh, feature that I like to start with, and you can really explore around, but to me the best feature is to just start with the smart search. So you click on that. It gives you this little search box here. And so let's search something just general that could be, you know, just any type of topic. So uh, we'll say technology in schools. I actually already have that highlighted. So I'm going to click search. And again, you'll just want to search a variety of things to try to narrow down the results to be keyed in for your topic. So you may have to search a lot of different things until you find what you want. But anyway, so we look right here. And now what we have is a list of a lot of different results. Now, not all of these results are great. What we really want to focus on are results like this that talk about having a full text article attached with it. You can see like these have those. Um, just because it has full text doesn't necessarily mean it's what you're looking for. It could just be in some way connected or, you know, or it may not be at all. It just depends. The key thing about the full text is that it's giving you the entire article, okay? Now, over here on the side, you can narrow things out. Like, if you want to get only recent sources, you can actually change the date using this tab. You can see it goes all the way back to 1811. Uh, so, you know, again, that's a pretty broad range. Then, of course, uh, you can also dictate like if you only want to get academic journals like the results for that you can see that's still 900,000 plus so you know you can really tinker around with this and narrow down your results into kind of the fields that you want but anyway let's just click on one of these because I want to show you the other great feature about discus so I'm going to click on the full text here and then it loads it up in this pane and you can see right away this is a high quality article it may not necessarily be exactly what you're looking for but I mean you can tell just by looking at certain articles that you're dealing with something that um, is not just a little blurb that's been slapped together on a no-name website this you can see down here at the bottom the author has actually cited lots of sources within this source so you know, it doesn't mean that everything you find that's listed as an academic journal is going to be like a perfect source. But what it does is it just, especially for our purposes in this paper, it, it gives you a little bit more credibility to stand on. So that's a great benefit. Another great benefit, and, you know, this is more of a time saver than anything. But if you look right here, you have this panel of different things that you can use as a tool for you. But one that most of my students really like once they discover it is this right here where it says cite. Okay, you see where my, my cursor is over here. You see it says cite. So if I click on that, what it does is it actually gives us a whole list of citation options. So that's really nice. They're already done in a variety of forms. Well, the form that we're looking for is this one right here, MLA. Okay. So look, this right here is already done for you. The citation is already taken care of. 
So that's a really nice feature. It just makes this process a lot easier. Now, I'll just tell you that there are some quirks about this that you have to be careful. Um, you have to kind of be careful of when you're you're looking at this. Um, these citations aren't always perfect. And in fact, you know, for me personally, I probably wouldn't include this um, author's email address here, you know, listed right after her name. I would probably just put a period there and then have the article title. But I mean, that's something you can easily just clean up. You know, at the end of the day, it is your responsibility to make sure that these citations, even these that are pre-made, are done correctly because just because it's pre-made does not mean that it's perfect because usually what's happened is a computer has actually gone through and kind of um, done a lot of this automatically. There's not a person who's sitting there writing up all these citations. Um, it's usually a computer that just um, is intelligent enough to take this database of information and plug it into the correct spots. Uh, so that's, you know, it's one of those things that's it's nice, but at the same time, you kind of have to be, you have to use your human brain to make sure that it has done an effective job. And for the most part, looking at this, you know, it looks mostly right. I just don't really know so much about using that email address there. But other than that, you know, this is a solid citation. Anyway, that's just one of the great benefits of this. You can use it for a variety of different purposes, but for research, it's really great. So I encourage you to use that as you go through and try to find some high quality sources for your research paper. All right. Thank you. And let me know if you have any questions.